Hello, my name is Edgar Loktin Jung, and uh, this is my website. Uh, as I say earlier on, um, we talk about the period nine, and I, I told you guys I will use about eight videos to talk about the uh, period nine. So today, this is the eighth, eighth video. We are going to talk about the period nine, and we do a little bit of uh, conclusion on the, you know, the from the previous seven videos. So um, we have to look at uh, there's two separate uh, issue here. One is uh, the house is built in period nine. Okay, the house built in period nine. So the house, let's say, built from uh, 2024 February the fourth onward to 2044. If the house built in this uh, period of time is called a period nine built house. Okay, so and then if the the house built prior to this date, then that is, uh, wow, well, can be period eight, period seven, period six, you know, period five, period four, period two, depends uh, when they were built. But each period is 20 years, you can calculate by yourself. If a house built in here, period nine, is built in period nine, it doesn't mean it is period nine compliances, okay? So there's two, two different concepts here. So a house built in period eight or period seven, it can be period nine uh, uh, compliances, right? So there's two different concepts here. So we are not going to talk about the uh, to be built house. We're going to talk about um, the, the, the house already built and how can you make it uh, to a period nine <laughs> compliances. Because to build a new house is not what, what you think that simple. To build a, a new one, let's say I give you some uh, uh, procedures. So because there's so many different feng shui schools there, so at least you have to make sure the house is built to uh, compatible with the owner. So the owner, you know, the owner. So the owner will look at their, you know, some feng shui use the ming gua, some feng shui use the birth year. So it depends on your feng shui method. But for me, we will look at the person's uh, birth year. For example, someone born in the year of the horse or someone born in the year of the rooster, then we will uh, design the house. You know, depends on their birth year, not the ming gua, not the gua number. So, so owner, because the owner had to match, you know, with the house energy, then to bring the most uh, um, energy for the, the owner. Sometimes, you know, husband and wife may not born in the same years, right? So that's other method you can, we can use. For example, a um, couple days ago, I look at one feng shui. The, the house is uh, sitting, sitting on the rusa, sitting on the rusa. Uh, rusa is you, you know, rusa is you. And both uh, husband and wife born in the year of the uh, rusa. So they are doing very well in, in that house. So not only the sitting, we also need to consider other things as well. For example, the toilet, the kitchen, the door opening, all, all this. So uh, the second is, is the owner and then the direction, right? The direction. In the direction, we don't just say, oh, facing uh, north. Because north in feng shui, there's 45 degrees, there's three mountains. So let's say uh, north, there's uh, Yang Water Ren, and then Zi, or, or Red, Zi, or Gui, you know, see, Ren Zi Gui. So there's a different, you know, different, so there's a three different facing here. So that is another, you know, 
uh, confusion <laughs> in, in the feng shui world. Some people say, oh, my house is facing north. So I uh, normally ask them, which north, what degree, you know. So that's the, the direction we have to look at. And then there's uh, and another is the, you know, the, the water, you know, the water flow, you know, water flow means nowadays you, you, you may not see the real water. So you, you may see the uh, road, the street, you know, if the, the street is higher what, at one side, then that means when it's raining, the higher side, the water will flow to the lower side. So if let's say this is higher, then the water will flow this way. So you have to look at you know the, 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 the water flow which way in order to determine where you put the location of the door. What else? And then if, if this piece of land is uh, quite big, then you can decide because in, in the feng shui there, there's the nanada, nanada layer is the you know, the uh, 122, 122, they call a fun gum, fun gum or division go. So, so that is another, you know, for, for one uh, 24 month and one month is 15 degrees. So this 122 uh, fun gum, they will be uh, uh, divided in the less degree. And then, some feng shui use, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, xiang kong da gua. They use the yao. So there's a uh, three hundred and eighty four yao. You know, yao. So this yao, each yao is only nine point nine seven two five degrees. So when you want to be very precise, you know, for a new build, it has to be very precise. However, nowadays I found it's not easy. It's not easy because let's say one area, you know, already you know, developed the area they have already pre, you know, pre, pre, uh, pre facing the direction is all, you know, almost all, all set. So you can't even tilt a little bit. Uh, a few degree because if you feel one or two degree that will be very odd shape so sometimes it's impossible so you, you just have to look at uh, 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 the land to start from the land to see you know whether it will match the whole family and the, the whole area like the you know water direction things like that okay so that's that's uh you know that's how hard it is it's not what you think you know uh like uh you know feng shui you're just sitting sitting to your best direction well maybe it will help just a little bit but if you want the feng shui to work to the maximum there's many things we need to cons need to consider so if a house built in like period eight or you know even period seven i mentioned that because from flying star point of view, flying star point of view, they were in a water star, in a water star from one to nine. So, uh, all they were talking about is to trace for this, you know, water star nine. But sometimes the water star nine may not locate in the sector or area you're able to open the door or so people will if they can open a window or they can op or put a, a fish tank there then that's fine that's good further to uh, uh to that in addition that actually number one star and number two star this is what we call the future you know prosper star so you can utilize that as well then that's from the flying star point of view then if from another from the 24 mountain point of view the 24 mountain point of view is we remember we say you know the the facing the south you know the south is the uh bing wu and ding so bing wu ding they are in the south in the law shoe number is nine so that's all, also a period nine uh house you know if you open the door somewhere there that's a period nine house and then we uh, talk about the replacement star the replacement star also can look at as uh, a period as well 
Then uh, I have a question from someone asked me whether you use the building uh, chart, you know, construction time chart or use a move-in chart. Uh, honest, honestly speaking, uh, there's two different you know, uh, theory out there. Some masters say, oh, you have to use the uh, move-in date. Some use, you know, you use a construction date. So I, I think the construction date is more, um, more, more reasonable, more uh, matching. Because when we burn, you know, when we are born, we, we can, cannot be reborn. So um, for the house, the, the idea is if you're able to open the roof, open the roof of the house, then the period of the house will change. But what happened to the multi-level uh, buildings? You know, the maybe the only the top one can can open the the roof, but the the normal like apartment like in between, they cannot be open. So I generally for my work because I use this Yuan Gua San Yuan Yuan Gua system. San Yuan Yuan Gua system, uh, fine star is can assist and the eight mansion can assist but a majority I use the SYYG the San, San Yuan the Yuan, San Yuan Yuan Gua Feng Shui so the San Yuan Yuan Gua Feng Shui is uh, very important in, we this layer we have to make sure this layer is you know uh, very much correct uh, for the new build, sometimes you can't make 100% correct. If you can build a house to have like 80-90% of good feng shui, then it's, it's very good. So the four, and then I will add, you know, if, if I know the building period, I will add the fine start and then we can also use the add mention method add into it and the you know, san he method add into it to make sure uh, we can do a good job for the client. The other thing is uh, actually some, sometimes you don't need, really need to trace for that you know, period nine or every 20 year you have to change the house or change the, the chi. If you uh, Google you know, this uh, particular person, this uh, Mr. Roman, Buffet. He lived in the same house for more than I think six, 60 something years or 50 something years and I don't think he had you know changed the roof of his house. If you know that you maybe you can put on some uh, let me know because uh, from on the internet I cannot find that uh, he had you know changed the changed the roof of the house but he's been living there for over 60 years the other thing is you know the our lineage you know uh, great grand master yang xun chung he helped one of his disciples build a uh, ancestor hall in 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 china that's all also over you know you know, 800, 900 years and it's still there. So I don't think they, they, they change the roof or open their roof every, every 20 years. So I hope, you know, not confuse you too much because, you know, what, what Feng Shui really is, you need to really need to follow a master to learn because if you read book, sometimes, you know, book may not write all the, 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 the real technique in there. And what else? Okay, so of course, if you uh, feel, uh, have more questions, you, you can, you know, uh, comment or ask me. Uh, if I know, I am happy to answer you. And uh, if you just uh, use you know, your click 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 to uh, like my video share and comment then you'll be very appreciated and thank you very much for you know uh, support this channel uh, I know there's some you know advertisement as well there so if you if, if you can watch that then I will get some uh, you know income but uh, 
If you have watched my other video, I told you guys all the income from this channel will be donated. Thank you. I see you uh, next time.